another one we want to look at is work culture. Do you have a boss that calls you way too early in the morning, way too late at night, and then micromanages everything you've done? You might have an enmeshed, <laughs> an enmeshed boss. Oh my god, we should do a whole series of that. Where it's like you remember the like you, you might be a redneck, like you might be a no. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy, the nineties. Where were you? I don't know. I was trying to eat my own. <laughs> I was trying to eat bread and butter at my dinners <laughs> in the nineties. So like no, there was like a whole Jeff Foxworthy had this whole thing that was like you might be a redneck if was that a TV show. I'm not sure. We'll Google it later. But somebody somebody listening knows what I'm talking about because yes. their mother played it in And write in. in. Please write in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or did I make the, it was the entire thing an acid fever dream? Very possible. Oh, just an acid flashback. Very, very good. Got it. Okay. So, right? Like, so you say, like, you know, you might experience an enmeshed boss if these things happen. If they're calling you too often. If they also want to be maybe overly involved in your individual personal life. And if there isn't appropriate boundaries, if they say our office is like a family, no, it's not. No. Your office is an office. That's it. Great to have a nice community, but mm, what is that about, right? So, like, that's how we say sometimes somebody can get over involved in their job and disengage. And is there a reason they want to avoid stuff on the other end? Yes. Something that I was thinking of, too. <laughs> I thought you were holding in a burp. Uh, that, too. I had like indigestion <laughs> in the same moment. Um, but like if you screw something up at work, which of course you will be just because you're human and you bring it to them and you say, hey, like this got screwed up or I need to talk to you about this and you're really upset about it. They get really upset about it. Right. They're no longer kind of holding on. I always say holding someone who can hold on to themselves. Right. That mm-hmm. level of differentiation mm-hmm. where if your boss cannot hold on to themselves and they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe you would do that. I'm so upset you screwed everything up, right? Their ability to hold on to themselves in the face of you having anxiety and you being upset yeah, might be a sign that you have a <laughs> enmeshed boss. Did you try to do it? Did you try to I do tried. it? I tried. I just don't know what you're talking about. So like I could Okay, after we record this, I'm going to make you watch Please it. Please do. Maybe Nikki can put it up on our Instagram and find one. Is she's going to she's gonna look it up and be like, Emily, there is nothing. I think I made the whole thing that up. That wasn't a thing. Like that girl with the big comfy couch where she moved her legs as the clock. What were you watching growing up? Nickelodeon. Did you not watch Nickelodeon? <sighs> yeah, we watched Nickelodeon. I mean, I remember like, like right, like Nickelodeon. We were what? We are the same age. I mean, I'm so much older. Okay, than that, you. well, I think what I'm talking about is even from before your time. Right? You didn't, like, watch, like, Fraggle Rock? Oh, yeah. I watched Fraggle okay, Rock. Okay, yeah, right? But, like, what the <laughs> fuck is the other thing? <laughs> but, like, All right, what? cool. Well, so, good news is, is if we were from an enmeshed relationship <laughs> and Jen forgot about this thing from our childhood, that would actually feel like betrayal to me. Oof. Does it? No. <laughs> because now I'm not sure if any of this was real. <laughs> Just, like, everything in life is fake. I feel sure of now. I don't know. So yeah, so, and or I might pretend like I know what you're talking about so that you don't get upset with me. Yes, exactly. So I think that's another thing. If you have learned to lie and admit truth and like be different parts of yourself as a, as a level of survival, you might come from an enmeshed family. I'm not saying you have to change any of this. I'm just saying let's create some consciousness. And to notice how is it affecting you, right? If it's not affecting you in any sort of negative way, fuck it. Stop listening to this. (laughs) If it is, right? If you feel like, I don't even know what I think and I don't even know how I feel, Mm -hmm. right? I need to call my parents to uh, to even know how I feel about the situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't make decisions on my own. Mm -hmm. And I can't express how I feel because I'm so worried about how other people are going to feel from how I feel. Yes. I have to take care of everyone else's feelings yep. before my own. Mm-hmm. So I want you to ask yourself, how has this affected me? Mm-hmm. How have I grown up to learn about who I am in relation to other people? And if you recognize this isn't serving me, then acknowledge it and say, okay, well, how can I set these boundaries? What's mm-hmm. a way in which I can set these boundaries in my relationships that are going to help me move towards um, feeling like I can have my own individual self. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.